In this week's assignment for internet and the law, 4.6 terms of use, we must locate price lines, use agreement, and read part one carefully, sections A through L. Part one, legal action. A, arbitration and dispute resolution. B, disclaimer of warranties. C, general limitation of liability. D, indemnification and chargebacks. E, trademark and copyright notice. And L, claims of copyright infringement. Here are some of the things we must consider. Is it a valid contract? Are visitors bound to it? Or should they have to click I agree? If you have a dispute with Priceline, can you sue them? Why or why not? And also, what changes would you recommend? Is it a valid contract? According to Priceline, you agree to give them an opportunity to resolve any problem, dispute, or claim related in any way to Priceline websites and or any of its related applications or services via the site, any dealings with their customer service agents, the purchase, use, or performance of any service or product available through that site, any representation made by Priceline or their privacy policy by providing notice to customer support, you can get your claims. Unless prohibited by law, any claim must be brought within two years from the date on which such claims arise and accrue. If they are unable to resolve the claims within 60 days, you may seek relief through arbitration or small claims court. Are visitors bound to it or should they have to click I agree? It requires that any and all claims must be resolved by binding arbitration or in small claims court, and it prevents you from pursuing a class action or similar proceeding in any form. These limitations apply to any claims against Priceline, its subsidiaries or affiliates, or any travel service providers or companies offering product or services through the site. If you have a dispute with Priceline, can you sue them? Why or why not? According to Priceline, you can only sue them in the state of Connecticut to the extent that any claims is held not to be subject to arbitration and proceeds in a court other than small claims court. Such small claims should be filed only in the United States District Court for Connecticut or if there is no federal jurisdiction over the action in the courts of the state of Connecticut located in Fairfield County, Connecticut. You hereby consent and submit to the personal jurisdiction of such courts for the purpose of litigation any such claim that is not subject to the arbitration provision and not pursued in small claims court and agree that any such claim should be resolved individually without resort to any form of class action. You further agree that any and all claims or other matters assorted in such dispute, whether based upon contract, tort, statute, or otherwise, should be governed by the laws in the state of Connecticut with regard to conflict of laws provision that result in the application of the laws of any other jurisdiction. So. In other words, you can only proceed in the state of Connecticut. In conclusion, what changes would you recommend? Since Priceline.com is the best deals on hotels, flights, and rental cars, the guidelines they have set fits their business model. Their platform is not set for them to be your agent, but allows you to cut out the agent and allow the users to get deals directly without any agent fees. Honestly, I wouldn't change any recommendations for Priceline.com. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.